Woo-hoo. What's up, guys? It's Ruben from Camellia 68 Cougar. Uh, thanks for tuning in to this post. Uh, I thought it'd be a good idea if I shoot this short video for you guys. Um, if you're watching my page, check out Camellia 68 Cougar. I also have a YouTube channel as well. Please subscribe and like the channel. Uh, for this particular video, what I wanted to go over is uh, part of the transmission. So I, um, in Camellia 68 Cougar, I have a, um, a 302 engine with mild Botons. Um, so um, if you guys check out the channel. I posted a picture of it uh, a couple of posts ago. Um, and now I'm moving over to the transmission. I still got some work to do with that motor before it goes into the car. Um, but you saw some of the mistakes I already made. So anyways, um, fast forwarding as a way for more parts, um, I, I want to shift over to the transmission. Um, so uh, I'm doing some work to the transmission that's requiring a higher stall converter. Um, it's at 3000 RPMs, which seems a little high for me. Uh, street di drivability seems to be okay with 3000 uh, RPMs. Uh, so I think I'll be okay there. Um, so with my cam, my cam is kind of dictating that uh, increase in stall. So as a result, um, after doing numerous readings on the internet, um, about four is AOD, which is going into Camilla 68 Cougar. Um, one of the components that was vital that I kept reading on and on and on is the input shaft. So uh, going back to my motor, I have a 302, like I said, with bolt-ons, heads, and so forth, and a cam. Um, I'm not making a ton of horsepower, but at the same time, I'm actually future-proofing the transmission if I do decide to stay with the AOD, you know, for the next three or four years um, after the car is actually on the road and running and so forth. So a big recommendation is swapping out the input shaft. So I wanted to show you guys, because I'm really not a transmission guy, to be honest with you, I really don't, this is not my wheelhouse that I tinker with. Um, so I am planning on taking the transmission over to a local shop so they can take it apart and add this part. But before we get there, I actually want to show you guys what the input shaft looks like out of, uh, or a similar one that I have an extra one that was laying around for the transmission itself. And I'm going to show you guys the replacement part from, let's see here, where is that? From TCI. So. Um, the TCI version is hardened and I'll talk about that next. So let's go dive in and check it out. So the Ford EODs come with this uh, two-piece input shaft. Um, I think some of the other versions of automatic overdrives from Ford, the um, AODE um, and the uh, 4R7W, whatever it's called, um, those are different iterations of the AOD. Um, I, don't think any of those, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't think any of those have changed the input shafts. I think they might have made them a little bit stronger with the different iterations, and then they updated some of the internals on those other transmissions um, outside of the, the regular AOD transmission. So this is the two-piece input shaft on these AODs. And anytime, from what I've read and from what I heard from a couple of shops, anytime you throw a lot of horsepower um, you know, over stock, you stroke your motor, 347, and you still have an AOD, these tend to break. Um, I've seen over the internet that this front part here of the shaft, this will break off with a high stall converter or with a decent amount of horsepower. And by decent amount of horsepower, I I'm guessing four to 500 on up horsepower. So they tend to break here. Um, and, and again, as I mentioned, this is a two-piece shaft, so if I take this apart, um, this goes inside the transmission, so there's two pieces to this. Not very strong the way that is, so it is important that uh, if you guys are building a 302 or you're looking to just add an AOD, um, please make sure to take a look at your input shafts because these will break from when I'm reading when you throw too much torque at them. Um, so these are not hardened. These are factory uh, pieces. I've actually never seen these input shafts uh, So it's kind of cool to have uh, to get a, get an extra uh, set of these so I could show you guys uh, The splines and so again, this is out of a 91 Mustang um, It looks like in pretty good shape. I would say the threads are all good here So I didn't see anything that there was an issue there at all whatsoever 
Uh, same thing here as well. Threads all look good. I don't see a whole lot of wear on this, uh, but uh, you know, it doesn't look bad. But at the same time, I was looking to really get this updated because the last thing you want to do is to build your car. You spend all these hours and everything, and you know, a couple of months later, it breaks, and it could be a month later, or it can be you know, a couple of years later, depending on how much horsepower you have. It might even be sooner than that. So, um, so this is the, the two-piece input shaft. And uh, I want to show you guys what my upgrade is. <clears throat> so I think there's a couple of other manufacturers who make input shafts out there. Um, I just went with TCI because they're just a, a reputable company. Um, I also bought my stall converter from them too as well. So I decided just to stick with the same uh, company's components. Um, just because they're tried and true. Um, and like I said, this is a one piece, so this is not a two piece shaft anymore. And there's that part number there if you guys are, there's that part number there if you guys are interested in, in seeing what part number that is. Um, so this is really beefy. Again, it's a one piece drive shaft. Um, it's a hardened steel, uh, and I believe it's chromoly steel if I remember correctly. Uh, either way, um, this is supposed to be a lot stronger, less prone to breakage, and I think it's good up to 600 horsepower if I remember correctly. You know, I should really start reading up on these specs before I make these videos, and somehow I always uh, forget to do that. So, um, this is a really nice piece. I'm looking forward to dropping this off along with the transmission over at my lo local transmission shop. I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys the difference there, to give you guys uh, somewhat of an idea of what that looks like. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting this installed, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video to show you guys what the difference between the stock two-piece input shafts versus the hardened uh, steel uh, single input shaft looks like. Um, again, it's tapered off here in the front, just like this piece here, and then it's a, a wider, um, it's a wider tubing that's also one piece and hardened uh, to replicate this one here as well. Let me know what you guys think. I, ho I hope this was helpful for you guys again. Um, drop some comments down below and we'll get moving on to dropping this off at the transmission shop tomorrow. Thanks again.